Hi guys, my name is Buki and welcome to my channel. In this sewing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sew a polo shirt collar. In my previous video, which I have linked in the description box below, I showed you guys how to sew the main body of this polo shirt. If you want to learn how to draft the pattern and learn how to sew the placket, I have linked the videos in the description box below as well. So without wasting your time, let's get to it. These are the materials I will be using. The already sewn polo shirt main body, the collar band, a knitted polo collar, a pair of fabric scissors, some clips, and a ballpoint needle. To begin, I'm going to measure the neckline of the polo shirt, starting from the middle point of the placket all the way to the middle of the other placket, just like I'm showing you here. This is because the collar is not going to start at the edge of the neckline. So my neckline is 15 inches. Next, I'm going to measure the collar to see if it fits. This collar is 17 and a half inches long, which is longer than the neckline. I ordered for 15 inches, but this is what I got, so I have to cut it. This is not ideal and not advisable, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to do it. For the height of the collar, I normally use between two and a half to three inches, plus half an inch sewing allowance. It all depends on your preference. I'm also going to cut the hem of the collar because it's a bit bulky. You don't have to do this. Next, I'm going to fold the collar in half and then notch the middle. Once I'm done, I'm going to trim off the excess placket. So I'm going to try to make it as flat as possible in order to get the neckline curve. I don't like to trim it straight. Next, I'm going to fold the packet in half and then notch the middle. This is where the collar will start from. For the other packet, I'm going to first of all notch the edge and then fold the outer piece in half and notch it. You can notch both sides if you want. This is where the end of the collar will stop. Next, I'm going to notch the center back. This is where the center notch of the collar will meet. You can do this by either aligning the shoulder points together or by joining the plackets together. You should get the same thing. For the band, mine is two inches wide and 18 inches long. I wish I had cut it smaller because it ended up being too wide. I suggest you cut your smaller or experiment with different sizes. To insert the collar, I'm going to fold the wider black placket inside out just like so and then place the collar in between them like a sandwich at the notch point. Make sure you are inserting the collar hemline and not the top. Then I'm going to place the collar band on it starting at the notch point. Once I'm satisfied with the position, I'm going to clip it in place. 
I'm also going to make sure that I align the collar notch with the center back notch. Then I'm going to clip it all round. When I get to the other end of the neckline, I'm going to turn over the grey placket and then insert the collar in between it and place the collar band on top. Then I'm going to trim off the excess collar band. Once I'm done, this is what it looks like. I'm going to use my overlocker to clean the edges before sewing. Just to let you know, using an overlocker is optional. While we're learning, please can I ask you to support me by subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying what you're watching so far. It means a lot to me and it tells me that you enjoy my sewing tutorials. Thank you in advance. Once I do this, I'm going to sew a straight line on a half an inch sewing allowance. I know it seems like I'm doing too much, but this is just how I do it. Once I'm done, I'm going to trim off the pointy edges on both sides and then turn them inside out, just like so. Next, I'm going to top stitch the band. When top stitching, please do not start sewing from the placket. Start sewing after the placket. It was also at this point, I realized that I should have reduced the color band. So this is what I mean by you need to experiment. My color band was two inches wide. 
So next time I'm going to make it one and a half inches wide. Once I'm done, we have an almost finished color. Next, I'm going to close up the placket. For the gray placket, I'm going to sew a straight line starting at the bottom of the placket all the way to the color. This is going to close up the placket. This is why I said not to sew on the placket when top stitching the color band. Once I'm done, I'm going to top stitch the edge of the placket. For the black placket, I'm going to close that up by top stitching right at the edge of the seam. Make sure you are filling the back while sewing to ensure the seams are properly tucked in. Once I'm done, this is what it looks like. We have now learned how to sew a polo collar. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please, please do not forget to subscribe and also turn on your notification bell so you can be the first to know when I have a new video up. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Until next time, my loves, have a good morning, afternoon or night. Bye.